There have been a lot of reaction to this now viral video of a customer getting more than she ordered for at a McDonald's in Greenwich Village. But the video doesn't fully tell the story. So here to give us an account of what really happened is Rayon McIntosh, the McDonald's employee that you see right there, involved in that supersized smackdown. The video looks pretty vicious and he is here right now to defend himself. So I want to know as you look at that video as we have it playing, you know, tell us, did you have to really go that far and why? Um, when your psych is in that type of situation and your mind ain't working, you ain't thinking rational, um, you are gonna do things that you normally would not do. Well, look at that video, Rayon. Come on, it looks like, you know, you got this metal rod, you fractured one of their skulls. Uh, did you feel that threatened by these women? A lot of people ask me that question, if I feel that threatened. Um, the things that they were saying to me, that they'll cut me up. Um, she come over the counter and F me up. My mom is a... Okay, this all happened because of a $50 bill, right? They made their order, they paid it with a $50 bill. You went to check to see, or your, your co-worker, My co went, to, went to check to see, if, you know, and you see that all the time where people try and figure out if it's a fake or real bill. Yeah. But then it escalated, right? Yeah. Um, she took it offensive that my co-worker did check the money and she got very upset, Denise, and for no reason she just started carrying on. Um, behind the counter, she spits on me and then slapped me in the face. So when she spit on you, is that when you went for the, you felt no, threatened? You no, felt like they were no. going to hurt you? No, um, when she spit on me and followed with a slap, if you could play the old video so everyone could see it from beginning to end to end she came over the counter okay before that she was telling me she'll cut me up she'll f me up okay for no reason well the grand jury looked at it you know because there were charges being filed against you and the grand jury looked at it and they said that there are no charges that are going to be filed against you but these two women uh now now they're going to face charges what, what, what do you want from them because I know you've been very outspoken about this. What I want from them is, um, really and truly, I can't wish bad for anyone. I'm, I'm not going to say, oh, I'm happy or, you know, I'm going to leave it to the judge and the jury to decide what type of reprimand they should get. I'm not going to say I'm happy or anything like that. Well, listen, you spent eight years in jail. Eleven. Eleven years in jail. Yeah. You came out eight months ago. You're yeah. trying to get your life together. Yeah. This was a, a fresh start, right? Yeah. So, uh, as you reflect upon this? Yeah. That's why I said um, I wouldn't want jail for mm -hmm. them because I'm not going to wish jail on anyone mm -hmm. because what I went through in jail, it yeah. It's, it, it, it play a lot on my mind. I'm hurt, you know? So I, I don't want them to be from their family. Are you their suing? Loved one. Yes, I'm suing McDonald's. For? For, when you say for, for? Well, do you want money? Is so, you yeah, for, a, yeah. for, for monetary, they yeah, you? yeah, yeah. Did they not protect you? Were yeah. there not laws or procedures that you were yeah. taught? I'm not a security guard. So as far as, if it's laws that, I'm not a security guard, so I was trained to just cook, cashier, but that night I had to become a security guard and I had to defend myself, so yeah, I'm going to sue. And it's not just for me, it's to protect fellow employer or employee of McDonald's. So we should have been have security at that store because they know that it was a problematic store and the owner Carmen Polino did nothing. We wrote, we called, mm -hmm. she knew it was a problem in that store before, after that, and she did nothing about it. All right, thank you so much. And uh, of course, uh, you, the whole video is on our website, pix11.com. Uh, Rayon McIntosh, thank you for coming in and giving us your sides of the story because everybody wanted to know what was going on, what was going on in the person's mind, and now we actually can fill in some of the blanks. Okay. It is 8-12. Let's take a look at your forecast this Friday.